Hi there, sleepy bunnies. Did you have a good day? I hope it was wonderful. I'm so excited to continue with another fall-themed bedtime story for you all. Grab a comfy blanket or a soft stuffed animal and let's settle in with a magical bedtime story. Thank you so much for the support. And to those of you who've watched or liked any of the other Bedtime Bunny videos, as well as those who have subscribed to the channel already, your support is so heartwarming. Tonight's Bedtime Story takes us on a journey to the moon where sisters Lily and Rose encounter a lost alien. Listen along as they help the alien find her way back home. One unusually warm fall morning, Lily woke up to rays of sunshine, bathing her in their golden light. She sleepily rubbed her eyes and then woke her little sister Rose up. Together, they got ready for the day's adventure. The girls got dressed and ate breakfast. Then they brushed their teeth and packed their trusty adventure backpacks. On the way out of the door, Lily and Rose said goodbye to their mother. She waved goodbye to her beautiful daughters and away they went to adventure once again. What do you want to do today, Rose? Lily asked curiously. Rose thought for a minute before stating she wanted to embark on a grand adventure to the moon. Lily and Rose ventured out through the hills around their home and into the mountains nearby. They were on a mission to find their friend Orion the Owl. Orion was no ordinary owl, for he could fly anywhere he wanted, even into space. Lily and Rose loved to ride on his back as he soared through the sky. Finally, the sisters reached the mountains and called out for their owl friend. Orion the Owl, where are you? The sisters announced at the same time. After calling once more, the sisters heard a familiar voice responding to their calls. Whoever could be calling out to me? Orion hooted down to the sisters. Hello, Orion. It's Lily and Rose. Would you like to go on an adventure with us to the moon? Asked Rose excitedly. Orion the owl agreed and then swooped down to retrieve the brave travelers, Rose and Lily. As they approached the moon's surface, they saw a twinkling light coming from a small crater. Inside, nestled among moon rocks, was a tiny, luminous creature with large, almond-shaped eyes and a silver metallic body. It was an alien, and it looked lost and frightened. Lily and Rose landed softly and approached the alien with caution. Hello, Lily said gently. Are you okay? The alien blinked its big, expressive eyes and replied in a soft, melodic voice, I am lost, young earthlings. My name is Alida, and I come from a distant galaxy. We're Lily and Rose, Rose said with a warm smile. And this is our friend, Orion the Owl. We would love to help you find your way home, Alita. Alita's eyes sparkled with gratitude. Thank you, kind humans. My spaceship malfunctioned, and I ended up here. I need to collect starlight crystals to power it up again. But they are scattered across the moon, and I am too small to reach them. The sisters exchanged determined glances. We'll help you find the starlight crystals, Lily promised. 
With Alita as their guide, the four of them embarked on an incredible journey across the moon's surface. They hopped over moon craters, skipped through fields of moon dust, and marveled at the beauty of Earth from this unique vantage point. Along the way, they stopped every so often to collect starlight crystals. Lily and Rose couldn't believe how beautiful the crystals were. Each one shimmered with a different color of the rainbow. As they ventured deeper into the moon's terrain, they encountered a series of challenges. They had to navigate a maze of glowing moon caves. Solve riddles written in moon rocks and even outwit a mischievous group of lunar dwellers. But with determination, teamwork, and Alita's guidance, they overcame every obstacle. The four of them filled their backpacks with starlight crystals and made their way back to Alita's spaceship. Alita placed the crystals into the ship's energy chamber, and it began to hum with power. The spacecraft's exterior lights danced with vibrant colors as it prepared for liftoff. Lily, Rose, and Orion exchanged bittersweet glances. It's time for you to go home, Alita, Rose said. Alita nodded with tears of gratitude in her eyes. I will never forget your kindness. You have not only helped me return home, but have also filled my heart with the light of friendship. As Alita's spaceship lifted off the moon's surface, it left behind a trail of stardust that illuminated the night sky. The trio watched in awe as the spacecraft ascended into the cosmos, disappearing into the depths of space. Orion scooped the sisters onto his back and began their journey to return to Earth. Back on Earth, Orion flew right over to the home that the sisters shared with their loving families. He swooped down and dropped them safely on their front lawn. Lily and Rose landed with their hearts full of wonder and joy. They thanked Orion for their magnificent adventure, and off he flew back into the mountains he called home. As the sisters climbed into bed, they spoke words of gratitude to one another, as well as for their dear friends, Orion the Owl and Alita the Alien. The sisters looked out of their window one last time to admire the big, bright moon in the sky. With a sense of contentment, they whispered their wishes to the moon, knowing that the universe was full of endless wonders and magical adventures waiting to be discovered by those with curious hearts. And as they drifted into a peaceful slumber, the moon smiled down on them, its glow a reminder of the extraordinary night they had shared with a lost alien named Alida. Good night and sweet dreams, little bunnies. <laughs>